This weekend, the People's National Party will be holding its 85th annual conference. Now, we're three years past the 2020 general election. The next election is due, general election, due by the end of 2025. So we thought it a great time to take a look at the PNP. How has the party been doing? And of course, local government elections supposed to be due before that as well. We'll see what happens with that. And politics in fact and the people's national party in particular that's our topic tonight on all angles i'm dion jacks miller remember we want to hear from you our hashtag on x the app formerly known as twitter is tvj all angles or whatsapp number is 876-381-0072 our guest tonight in studio Political commentator Dr. Paul Ashley, attorney at law Clyde Williams. He is also a former member of the PNP and president of the PNP's young professional arm, the Patriots, Christopher Henry. Before we start with them, let's hear what members of the public had to say about how the opposition is doing. They're not operating at all. They're failing a lot of things. They're not, they, they, they take this thing for a joyride, you know. They're not giving the present government anything to worry about. So, for me, them still need time to rebuild and reshape. Why? Because they need a new leader. They need somebody who is vigilant and somebody who needs to put up a challenge towards this present government. And there's nobody there already. So, I don't see what they're doing right now. Well, I feel that the PNP party, they need to organize more and get them things more stronger. And they need to have more influence on the younger people of the nation. I think he's trying to, um, he's trying to, to do his best. But I think he needs to, um, you know, more professional with his... Um, his words, what he's what that he's saying. He's not so professional in that. But I think he's trying, he's trying his best. Okay, thank you so much for that. No, I, I was actually wondering in relation to the last gentleman who spoke, who was the he he was referring to, whether it, it was the leader of the party or the general secretary who has been in the news a lot. But let, let's come to our guests and let me ask you to contextualize some negative um, expressions that we're hearing there. But in the context of the most recent poll results, a PNP Commission poll released in June, which said for the first time since 2015, the People's National Party, in fact, was leading the Jamaica Labour Party by about five points outside the margin of error. 30 percent said they would, 0.2 percent said they'd vote for the PNP compared to 25 percent for the JLP. And Clyde Williams, let me start with you. So people are coarse and people are carry on and they are criticized, but party has been rising in the polls. Yes, that is so. But the party leader is still behind the prime minister in the polls. It's been a long time since the party is outstripping the leader. Usually the leader has a better polling result and numbers than the party itself. So the leader would be pulling the party along. Now, the leader of the PMP is still trailing in the polls. I've forgotten what it is now. Trailing in that same polls behind Andrew. So that is a very significant thing to look at. I also want to say very quickly, Dion, in 2020 election, for the first time in its history, the JLP got more than 50% of, of the votes that were cast. First time, more than 50% of the ballots that were cast. They've always got 30 odd percent. When Golin came along, he bumped it up to 49%, just about. And then it went to 46 in 2011. But it's right now at 50 something 53 percent even though it was declining and also in the in the 2020 election they only had a fall off of about 28,000 votes between 2016 and 2020 notwithstanding the pandemic the pmp had a hundred and uh, what is it 28,000 fall off so so those are very significant contextual factors as well in the circumstances the numbers suggest to me that the popular support in the country has shifted from underneath the pmp to the JLP. The JLP, for the first time under Golden, got over 400,000 votes. And they have held that 400,000 votes pretty much in all the elections since. The PMP has dipped to 303,000 votes. 
almost the first time in this entire electoral history that they, since 1989 that they've gone to 300 and something votes. They had a time when, they, I think 2002, they had about 390,000 votes, but they are 303 at this point in time. The JLP is clawing back, uh, clawing a lot of the younger votes uh, and so on and so forth. So yes, the PMP is leading in those polls as an organization, but the leader of the PMP is still trailing the prime minister in the polls. Just a couple of things before I go to Christopher Henry, in terms of the poll results for the two leaders, when you look at good and very good, um, Andrew Holness had polled about 22% and uh, Mark Golding had polled about 12%. Having said that, you're, you're also referring there to percentage of votes cast. When you yes. look at the percentage, the voter turnout was the lowest in history, 37%. And when you look at the, the people voting for the percentage voting for the JLP as a percentage of the total available voters, it was just about 20%. So Agreed. about one in five voters. Yes really support the, this administration. Agreed, but the, 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 the fall Hold on, I'm going, come, I'm going to come back to you, but I'm nearly at the break. I'm, I have one minute, but I'll let you um, start off, Christopher Henry. Well, I can say that the PNP is still in its, well, it's still in its rebuilding. The PNP has improved from that performance in 2020. Uh, our, I, I hear that Clyde is saying that we, our, our leader is trailing behind the party. However, if I recall, our democratic system is one where it is a team. And the PNP is a team. And we, uh, for the Patriots, we can speak for, I can speak for the Patriots that we support our leader 100%. And as he goes around the country, we know that his numbers will improve and they will start to rise as well as can be seen with the party. So I'm, I'm not too fearful of the leader's numbers, and I am buoyed by the numbers that the Don Anderson poll had stated. Okay, I'm going to have to break, and we're going to come back and pick up, but just, just to point out, though, that you say his numbers will rise. His numbers, even though the party's um, numbers rose, his actually fell. So his numbers for good and very good were at 12% in June for the PNP Commission poll. February 2023, they had been at 14.7%. So even though within the margin of error, so that wasn't going in the kind of direction you, you were suggesting or you're, you're hoping to see happen rather. But we'll pick up on the discussion when we come back right after the break. Remember, our hashtag is TVJ All Angles or WhatsApp number. It's 3810072. We're back in a moment.